amigos, hola amigos, aquí estamos Isabela y yo, bueno pues hoy es el fin de semana y la niña está conmigo y queremos hacer tantas cosas porque ya van a empezar a cerrar una de ellas en este fin de semana es que queremos ir al African Lion Safari otra vuelta porque les vamos a enseñar un poquito de lo que ya abrieron como es el tren, los botes y hay otras cosas, grupos de que nos enseñan de animales y todo eso ya todo eso ya lo abrieron a mí, entonces nosotros entramos entonces cuando al African Safari, entonces eso les queremos enseñar eso va a estar en este videito y también Ahorita vamos a ir a Crocker Doodles Es una cosa como barro Que se pueden, como platos, tazas Otras cositas que la niña puede pintar Y ellos, bueno, pues lo diseñan Nosotros lo diseñamos y ellos lo terminan para nosotros Y lo podemos traer a la casa Ahorita no sé cuánto valen los precios Entrada es gratis, pero todo depende de las cositas que ustedes agarran Pero anyways, este va a ser el video vlog de este día Right, Isabela, you ready? Yeah. Ok, amigos, muchísimas gracias por estar en mi vlog Y también suscríbanse, amigos Suscríbanse, suscríbanse y comenzamos. Démosle. Vámonos, pues. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Up on this island to our right hand side, hanging just outside of their house, we have our ringtailed lemurs. Ringtailed lemurs are found only on the island of Madagascar. The most striking in the lemur species, the ringtailed lemurs have a black and white barred tail, which is held aloft in an S shaped curve formation when walking. If you guys look into the tall tree directly in front of us, you'll be able to spot a couple of our spider monkeys. We have two different types of spider monkeys on this island. There is both the robust black spider monkey and the black handed spider monkey. Both spider monkeys have especially adapted to life in the trees, having long slender limbs and a prehensile tail which acts as a fifth limb. 
a prehensile tail has a hairless patch of skin near the tip with grooves like a fingerprint which enhances their ability to grasp branches and their hands lack thumbs which allows them to move through the trees with speed and agility while in search of their diet of fruit and leaves. On this small island just ahead of us, we have another one of our black-handed spider monkeys. This Central American monkey is characterized by its long slender limbs and great agility. These spider monkeys live between Mexico and Panama and they travel in small vans in forest trees, moving swiftly by making tremendous leaps, sprawling out like spiders and grasping tree limbs with their gripping tails. Their fur is golden, buff, or dark brown with black patches on the head, hands, and feet, and they eat mainly fruits and seeds. And lastly, on the large island just ahead of us, we have our white-handed gibbons. Gibbons are native to Southeast Asia and belong to a group of primates known as the lesser apes. They can vary in color from light beige to black with a white ring around their face and white hands and feet. With their hook-like hands and short thumbs, long arms, compact bodies, and no tails, they have adapted differently from the spider monkeys to life in the trees. They live in family groups consisting of a monogamous pair and their offspring, and they are famous for their great call which is used as a territorial display in which both members of the pair participate. Have any questions about the tour or safari in general, I'd be happy to answer them for you. I would like to thank you for coming to African Lion Safari today, and I hope that you enjoy the remainder of your stay here on safari. Hello everyone and welcome to the Nature Boy Scenic Railway. My name is Cindy and I'll be your guide on the tour today. Okay. And just a friendly reminder before we do get started that with the exception of water, there is no eating, drinking, smoking, or painting while on the train. As well, I ask that you please remain seated with your arms and legs well within the train carriage at all times. On your right hand side, you'll soon be able to notice two large white birds just in the grass there. Those are called the whooping cranes. And they do get their name for the unison whooping calls they make. They can reach heights of up to five feet tall, and they're known to be the tallest bird in North America. And just on your left hand side, you'll see one of our trumpeter swans just in the water there. The largest of the swans is a trumpeter swan, and they breed from Alaska to the Rocky Mountain states. Their numbers were dangerously low at one time, but they have since recovered. And as we are traveling throughout this reserve, you'll notice a number of our Canadian geese. The Canada goose is the most common type of goose in North America, and is easily recognized by their brow body plumage, black head and neck, and prominent white cheek patch. Every spring, approximately 100 breeding pairs migrate to African lion safari from their wintery grounds in the southern United States. African Lion Safari is an accredited member of the International Elephant Foundation that supports conservation, education, and research worldwide. Through their passion, expertise, knowledge, and partnerships, they inspire and engage people to ensure a vibrant future with elephants everywhere. And a fun fact about elephants is that they weigh upwards of 10,000 pounds. Mr. Wiggles is, shout it out. He's a crocodile. Excellent guess. I also heard alligator. I love that sound. Oh, I love it. I love that sound. And we're just going to put her down on the ground over here. She gets very, very good. But as I just got, I recently measured her. I recently measured her. She's 16 feet long. 
and about 120 pounds. one of the largest owl species in the world. Now the great gray owl can be found in the northern hemisphere and as uh, uh, Edward makes his way up here you'll notice he is completely covered in feathers from head to toe. The reason being is they want to stay insulated in those northern climates where it is snowy. Now of course our dinosaurs back to life. Of course it's not necessary because birds today are living dinosaurs. If you don't believe me check out Albert here as he makes his way onto our field. He is our marabou stork. Now Albert's wingspan that he's showing off is actually about 12 feet from tip to tip and as he demonstrated for you guys he has pretty good beak to eye coordination. Age old question of where do babies come from. This here is Euro and he is our European white stork. Now the European white stork can of course be found in Europe. This is where they make their nesting grounds, but they make a nine month migration each and every year from Europe to Africa and all the way back. Coincidentally, it happens to be the same length of time as a human pregnancy. Are you guys ready to meet some birds? Yeah. There's only a wide variety of different bird species that we work with, but of course, as well on Earth, there's over 10,000 bird species that call Earth home. So some of them are more common to us than others, some of them are more recognizable to us than others, but all that said, even the most common and most recognizable of them are actually very interesting. Like, did you guys actually know that there's more chickens on this planet than there are people on the planet? Pretty interesting fact. Native to Africa, here he is, Crojo, our African pie crow. So he's going to do something cycling today, and he's trying to convince you that crows are not deserving of the bad reputation attached to their name. Nice and loud. What kind of bird is papaya? A toucan. That's right. Well, papaya is more specifically a chestnut mandible, or otherwise known as a Swainson toucan. Now, as they turn that corner, the very first thing you're going to notice about them, they are simply just bright and beautiful birds. And they do stand out quite a bit in our dull safari environment. However, with the green leaves, the red and yellow fruit, and the blue shadows of the rainforest that they call home. All right, he would like to start off by greeting everyone. Hello! What happens when you see one of our female Amazons? He thinks he is funny as well. But Fernando is a parrot and they're playful by nature. He has a favorite game he likes to play with us. I think you guys might be able to figure out what it is. That's right, he loves to be tickled. Snort like a pig. The bark of a dog. And we're going to start off by showing off his dance moves. what he has in store for you. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Sound a bit like a national anthem? Aaron, of course, you think it looks good. It sounds good. But you know what? He can do better. We don't have parrots native to this country, but all the ones here patched in Canada. Very proud of the country he has hatched in. Let's hear that again. But not too bad for a bird. Let's hear from him. He's done a great job. The blue-throated macaw is the most endangered macaw living in the wild today, only found in the wilds of Bolivia. Now, their numbers in Bolivia are ranging in a couple of hundred individuals. So to put that into a bit of perspective, if you were to look around you now in the audience, there's more people sitting in our audience today than there are of their wild counterparts. 
But to leave you on a bit of a brighter note than that, we'd like to thank you for your visit today as it supports our conservation efforts. We work in partnership with the World Parrot Fest. These are our two first hatched blue sword macaws here at the park. They came to us, or hatched here at the park back in 2018. Not only are we looking to impact numbers here to share with you, but looking towards the future of blue throats in Bolivia as well. So thank you for your support. Hopefully you've enjoyed meeting all of our birds today.